Hey guys and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. So in today's video what we're going to be going over is how to create the speed effect when you are running which is basically just zooming out the camera. So if I were to hit play I could show you what we're going to make today. So when I'm walking we have a normal FOV like this and when I hit shift we're going to start sprinting and we have the camera zoom out like this so it just makes it look like you're running a lot faster and just gives you that nice effect that we have here. And then when we stop sprinting it's going to go back to normal like so. So this is what we're we'll going over and creating today. So without further ado, let me delete this code and I'll show you how I've done it. And I should mention as well, we are going to make that a smoother transition too. So it's not just going to be a sharp snap like you see there. I was just doing that there to give you the basic effect and I will then improve on this in today's video as that is a very easy thing to do. So what we want to do first is we want to actually create the sprinting mechanic. Now if you have this already set up, perfect. You can skip ahead to the part of the video where I do the camera changing. But if you've not got sprinting set up already, then follow this bit here. I'm using 5.1, so I'm using the new enhanced input system. So what I'm gonna do is go into my content browser, go to first person, and then input, actions, and I'm gonna create a new input action. If you're not using 5.1 or you're not using the new enhanced input system, do it the same way you normally would by going to edit, project settings, and input. So in here, we're gonna right click, go to input, create an input action, and I'm going to name this one IA for input action underscore run like so, opening it up straight away, making sure that all the settings are left to default like this. So we don't want anything to change in here. So we'll save and close that. Now we're going to go back to our content browser and open up our input mapping context, which if you don't have one, then you can watch my other video where I go over how to set up the enhanced input system for your game. In here, we're going to add a mapping we're going to add the new IA run we just created and then we're going to set this to be the button we want for running which for me will be left shift. You don't have to do anything else in here this is all we're doing so we're going to save and close that like so. Now we want to open up our character blueprint. So for me that's going to be in first person blueprints BP first person character. In here we're just going to find some empty space right click and search for IA underscore run or whatever it is that you named your enhanced action event, like so. Then for this, we're gonna be using started, which is the old pressed, and completed, which is the old released. So let's drag in a reference to our character movement, and out of this, we're going to set max walk speed, connecting that into started, and then duplicating that and connecting it in to completed, like so, making sure that the target is the character movement once again. So this is just gonna change the movement speed of the player. For started, I'm going to set it to 1200, so when we're sprinting, we're moving at 1200, and when we're walking, I'm going to set it to be 600, so we're going to set it back on completed, like so. And that is now our basic sprinting mechanic, we can now run in our game. If we to hit play, you can see we can now run in our game, like so. But you can also see it doesn't feel that much different, you can tell that we are moving at a different speed, but there's not a massive difference to it which is why we're doing the speed effect on the camera. It just makes it feel that much more faster and a little bit better. So let's go back into our blueprint. And what we're gonna do is off of set from started, we're going to add timeline. And this is where I said we're gonna be making it a nice smooth transition. That's how we're doing it. So I'm gonna name this one change FOV. Not FOC, sorry, FOV. And that's gonna go into play and then completed is gonna go into reverse. We don't want play from start and reverse from end, we just want play and reverse. And then we're gonna double click this to open it up. The length in here, I'm gonna to set to 0.5 as I want this to be done very, very quickly, but you can set this to whatever duration you want. Then we're gonna add a track, add a float track, and I'm gonna name this one FOV track, as that makes the most sense for me. I'm gonna right click on here, add key to curve float with a time of zero and a value of zero. Right click again, add key to curve float, the time of my maximum length, which for me was 0.5, and a value of 1. So we're going from the value of 0 to 1 over the length of half a second. And if we go back to our event graph, you can see we now have this F of E track coming out of the timeline, like so. What we're going to do for this is we're going to input lerp, and this is just going to be under float, and that's going to go into alpha instead of a. Now, what we're inputting in the lerp we could have done into this timeline instead, but the only reason I'm doing this is this just makes it a lot easier to change the values from where we're going from and where we're going to without having to change the whole timeline. This just makes it a lot easier. 
So A is the value we're going from, which will be our normal field of view, which is 90. And B is going to be our target field of view, which for me, I'm going to set as 120. So the higher the number, the more zoomed out you are, the lower the number, the more zoomed in you are. So just modify these values for whatever you want. And obviously you can just mess about with it and test out different values to see what is perfect for you. Now we're gonna drag in a reference to our camera. And out of this, we're going to set field of view, connecting that into update of the timeline. So every time the timeline is fired off, so for every frame pretty much of this timeline, going from zero to one over half a second, this is gonna set the field of view and we're gonna set it to this lerp value here. So it's gonna be going from 90 to 120 or 120 to 90 based on if we're playing or reversing over the course of half a second. So it's gonna be nice and smooth. Now, if we hit play, this should be working perfectly for us. So we can walk like normal. And if we just hold shift, we're gonna be sprinting like this with the FOV change. And if we let go, we're gonna be doing that again. And if we just start and stop sprinting, you can see the FOV is gonna still work perfectly like so. Now, I think this is still maybe a little bit too slow. So what I'm gonna do is actually change this to instead of being 0.5 seconds, I'm gonna set it to 0.25, and then we'll just move this to 0.25 as well. And then we'll see what this is like, as I want it to be really quick. So I think that is a little bit better for me. Again, obviously you can just keep messing out with it and keep changing the values for you until you get what you want and what's perfect for your game. But I think that'll be it for this video as we've done everything we've wanted to do. What we've done is we've set up a sprinting mechanic with this nice speed camera effect here. So the FOV is changing. It's zooming out as we are running as it just makes it look like you're running that bit faster. You can see it does look like we're running faster, although we are running at the same speed we were before we set up the camera change. So thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, please do make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.